So in this tutorial I'm going to go through the basics of volumetric lighting. So I've got this uh, fence object set up here and it's got a uh, alpha mask on it. It's basically a checkerboard with um, the U frequency set to 4 so we get this kind of stripey effect and I just applied that to the um, alpha channel of the material and then the color is just a brown color so just a very quick way of creating a simple fence. Now this light here is just some uh, extra kind of lighting for the scene. It's nothing to do with the volumetric light. So I'm just going to create that volumetric light now. And I'm just going to move this behind the fence here. About there. And I'm going to hit Alt R to bring up the interactive render like that. So the first setting I'm going to look at is um, under general. And where it says visible light, I'm going to set this to visible. So this basically behaves uh, quite close to volumetric lighting, but the only problem is it doesn't take into account uh, objects or uh, any kind of alpha map. So watch what happens when I switch this to uh, volumetric. And now we can see that uh, the light is basically blocked by these bars, this kind of stripey effect here. So that's quite cool. I'm just going to bring the light a little bit closer. Like that. Now there's a few tabs we can play with. Um, if you go to visibility, the sample distance is set to 25 centimeters by default. Now the smaller this distance, the better quality the volumetric light's going to be. So in my case, I'm just going to leave it at 25. But um, well, if you drop this down to say 10, the quality should improve. But of course, it takes a lot longer to render. I'm just going to set this volumetric light uh, sample distance back to 25 because it kind of looked okay. But uh, if you've got any kind of artifacts, just make sure this is set uh, lower until you kind of find the balance. Another thing we can add is dust. So I'm just going to give it a, quite an extreme value just to show what it does. So not a huge difference, it just seems to have made the kind of volumetric light a bit grayer. And uh, Divering, I'm just going to increase this to a, a very high value. So you can see what that does. Again, uh, visually, I can't really see a huge difference, to be honest. Um, I imagine it kind of just uh, kind of blends together the lighting effect a bit better. So another setting we can play with is uh, noise here. Now there's basically two types of noise. There's illumination and visibility. Visibility will um, place noise on the actual volumetric light itself. And I'm just going to set it to hard turbulence so you can just see that a bit better. And as you can see, it's given the light a uh, kind of cloudy effect. It looks more like a cloud now than light. So um, it could be pretty cool for a, if you're creating like a kind of alleyway with steam coming up. And um, I guess you want to increase the brightness slightly to offset the uh, loss in lighting. But that should be done from the general tab, to be honest, here, like that. Lastly, I'm just going to quickly show you what uh, illumination noise does. So I'm just going to set that to illumination. And the difference is it basically puts the noise on the wall or any object in the way of the light instead of on the light itself. So as you can see, the white is basically a pure white again now. But anything it casts illumination on uh, gets affected by this noise map here. So that's quite a cool effect as well. It could be handy for uh, making maybe tree branches, that kind of shadow. Gives it quite a creepy kind of Halloween look. So those are the two types of illumination. And um, lastly, I'm just going to show you um, the gradient function. So you can use a gradient as well. So the light starts off uh, white, but it can end up a different color. So I'm just going to try uh, kind of red, maybe. And the red seems to uh, appear kind of almost too quickly. So I'm just going to put another... Uh, marker in the gradient there and make that white so as you can see here it just adds like a little bit of a kind of atmosphere to the light a little bit of coloration we can also control the outer and inner distance so I'm just gonna look at it from the side um, it's basically this gizmo we can uh, control the extents of the volumetric light so as you can see now we kind of lose the effect because 
it's not reaching the fence. So that's a very basic introduction to volumetric lighting. Thanks for watching.